So it's time for two very quick for loop exercises. And just like the ones before with the while loops, you won't actually have to write any code just yet. So I'm going to give you two code fragments, and I'd like for you to try and evaluate it mentally without using the console. So here's the first one. Take a moment, pause the video if you need to, and then we'll go over the solution. So at the beginning of this loop, a variable i is set to 0. And the loop is going to run while i is less than 16. And every time through, we're going to add 8 to i. So the first time, it's going to be 0. And we'll print out 0. Then we add 8. So the next time, it's 8, which is still less than 16. So we get 8. Console.log 8. So it prints 0 and 8. And then it adds 8 more. So we end up with i equal to 16 which is no longer less than 16, and we're done. So let's verify. Paste that, and we get 0 and 8. So here's the second one. Go ahead, take a moment, pause it if you need to, and then we'll go over this in just a second. OK, so this one uses a string rather than just numbers. So we have a string with a bunch of random characters. Or maybe they're not so random, we'll see. So then we have a for loop with a variable i that starts as 1, not 0. And then we're going to keep running this loop while i is less than the length of the string. And we're going to add 2 every time, not just 1. So the first time through, we take i and we print the character at i from the string. So i is 1, so we're going to print h, which is the second character, but it has index of 1. So then we're going to add 2 to i, which gives us 3, which is still less than the length of the string. So we're going to print out string of 3, which is e. And then we're going to keep repeating this. Add 2, which means we're going to print out l, and then another l, and then o. So the end result is that we print every other character. And that happens to spell out hello. So in the next set of exercises, I'm going to have you start writing some for loops.